So let's try this one. This one is essentially a NMR problem, but we've also got mass spec and IR alongside with it. So um, it says here that the mass spec, the M plus peak at MZ equals 73. Well, can you tell us anything about that? Yeah. That's 73. So it's the parent ion, right? So what is the being odd? What does that tell us? It has a nitrogen in it, right? Okay. So it has a nitrogen. So that's one thing we want to remember, okay? Nitrogen's 14, so we can take that away from there and we can figure out how many carbons it has, right? So how many carbons do you think this thing has? Four, right? Because if we take 4 times 12, right, that's going to give us 48, then we add 14, and then we'll just have enough room for the hydrogen, right? So it's going to be C4, and what's the H it's going to be? It's going to be actually 11, okay? And you can tell that when we look here, right? So 6 hydrogens, 4 hydrogens, 1 hydrogen. So that's going to tell, that adds up to 11, right? Okay? So what is this telling us here, this 3350 base? It's not the CN bond, but it's the, can anybody? Yeah, it's the NH bond. Yeah, it's the NH bond. And it's telling us that it's only a single band. So what does that tell us? one hydrogen there, right? So in, in other words, it's a um, secondary amine, right? Isn't that what you mean to say? Okay, it's a secondary amine. So which one of those, these three um, peaks on the NMR is this hydrogen corresponding to? This first one, the second one, or the third one? Huh? The first one, why would you guess that? Because there's only one H, right? Okay, so that's good. In fact, let's go ahead and kind of draw what the NMR looks like. So we can kind of see it, right? So um, what do we got? One point, so we'll say that's like 1.0. So 1.05, that's somewhere around there, right? We're going to see something that looks like that. And then at 115, we'll have a triplet, so something that looks like that, okay? And then at 2, we'll say 2 is over here, 265, 2 over here, 265. so somewhere around there, we're going to have a quartet. That looks like that, okay? So this is one hydrogen there, six hydrogens there, and four hydrogens there. Okay, so that one hydrogen has to correspond to that. Okay. What is this saying if we've got a triplet? What does that tell us, a triplet? That there's two neighboring hydrogens, okay? But this says four, right? What does that mean? That's not two. Two groups, two groups are equivalent, right? And that gives you a clue here, right? Those six hydrogens, there's two methyl groups that are equivalent to each other. Okay, so effectively, if this was three and this was two and we had a triplet in a quartet, what would we expect that to look like? A methyl group, right? So if those two are equivalent, what does this thing look like? Yeah, it's symmetrical, it's got two ethyl groups. That's the molecule there, okay? So this is called diethylamine. Okay? Are there any questions on how to do that one? Questions? While we're still recording? Okay, pretty straightforward. This one is, was really nice because it gave us a lot of um, uh, things to remind ourselves, you know? If we have the odd, remember there's the nitrogen in it. Uh, at 3350, right?
right? We're either going to have a single or double bond. The weak tells us that it's the NH bond as opposed to like the OH bond, which would be very strong. Okay, but a uh, single band that's telling us that it's a primary or a secondary amine as opposed to a primary. Amine, okay, because if it was two bands, then we'd have a primary. And then, of course, going through the analysis here, you can see the six to four that those two groups are equivalent. Okay. Are there any any questions now on this? I think I went over everything about it twice. Okay. Good job.